So welcome back everybody. Today I'm here with Mrs. Fallline Ridge and she's going to teach us how to make pure beeswax candles. So how long have you been making pure beeswax candles? Since like four hours ago. Okay, so we really don't know how to do it either. She did make one earlier today and it turned out really nice. Uh, it's burning very nicely and I was, I was quite impressed with the way that it turned out. But like I said, we have... <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of experience doing this so we're going to take you all along for the ride and we'll learn together. Okay, so to get started you need a double boiler and we don't have one designated for this because we've never done this before. So my lovely husband kind of made something up for me and we've got a pot with some water in it and then we've got a measuring um, cup full of the beeswax and we're just going to put that right on in there and then you turn your oven on very low and melt the wax. Okay, I'm going to explain my setup to start with. I just have like a trash bag on the countertop so I don't ruin my countertop. Um, this is called a flex mold. I've already put the wick through. You take a wicking needle and thread the wick through. Start from the bottom of the mold and go through. Um, and that way when you pull the candle out at the end, you'll just keep pulling the, thread, the wick through. And so you don't have to thread it for your next candle. This particular one is shaped like a skep hive with a little honey bee on the side of it. This is a, an example of one that I made earlier. I'm pretty proud of it. I've got a pencil and I'll show you what that's for when we get to it. Um, this is a mold release. We've got our scissors to cut the wick and extra wax as we go. And I'm just basically following the directions that came with the mold. So, here we go. First thing you want to do is shake the mold release really good. And then I'm going to kind of spray away from the stove top because it is flammable. And you just want to put a light coat inside the mold. And I was really impressed with how this stuff works. Um, having never used this before, when it, when the candle hardens, it almost releases itself and then you can just pull it out. It's really neat to watch. The instructions tell us to pull this out about six inches. It's probably not six inches, but it's close enough. I'm going to pour the wax in. And here's where the pencil comes in. You want to get the wick to the center. Just kind of roll that up so it doesn't land back in the middle of the candle. And it landed in the middle of the candle. No. There we go. Okay. Now, do you put any more in there or you just leave it kind of low? Um, you can put a little bit more in there, but I'll leave it kind of low. Um, and I'm going right in front of the candle so you hit the camera can't see. Um, just because where the wick is around the pencil, it's a little loose. And the first candle I did, the wick got stuck into the bottom of the candle mold. Right okay. into the candle. Okay. So now we wait, right? So now we wait. Okay. And it really doesn't take as long as you think it would. I mean, I was able to pull this one out in less than an hour. It wasn't 100% um, solid. The outside was solid. And you want it? Hey, little guy. Hey, little handsome. <laughs> Yay! All right, give Mommy the candle back. <laughs> 
Um, and it hardened the rest of the way sitting out on the counter like that. So now we just wait. y'all notice and I don't know can you see it in the camera honey um, the candles kind of coming apart from the mold a little bit it's breaking away can you tilt it when it gets like that you can go ahead and take the pencil out I'm just touching to make sure it's still warm so it's not a hundred percent solid but that's okay and you just so I started pulling the wick out and you can see here it obviously is still warm in the middle and not solid and instead of it coming out of the mold it's stuck in the mold right now still and the wick just can't. So we just need to wait a little longer? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going to try to wait a little bit longer and uh, see if it works. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that got it. That isn't going to look decent now. Yay! So this is what she was talking about. So you, you string the wick in there like that, and then when you pull the candle out, your uh, wick for your next candle is already is already uh, threaded through. So. Oops. Oh, that's short now. Oh, no! <laughs> All right, well... This is probably the... <laughs> what did you do to my candle? <laughs> I messed it up. Oh, man. So this candle, I guess this is a pretty good practice candle. Let us uh, let me show you the other one that, that she did earlier. This one looks a whole lot better. This is how it really is supposed to look when you get done with it. So we did one more because the first show one was just so terrible. So give that one a try. That one came out a little bit better. My son's not happy about it, but that one came out pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy about it. Uh, Alright, well that one turned out great. So just make sure you wait long enough uh, so that the mold is uh, dry enough or hard enough. Make sure you put a little bit of the uh, mold release spray on it and uh, you should be okay. I appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, we're going to learn together and uh, making mistakes is part of it. But, um, you know, it's a pretty easy thing to do. I feel like you could get proficient with it uh, pretty quickly. If you had two or three molds, you could probably do a lot higher production because it does take a little while for these things to dry out or not dry but harden. Um, we didn't really time how long it took to you know, safely be able to remove it if you did at the bottom end. Um, but it's probably not you know, probably not all that long. You could probably have two or three molds and you know, make quite a few candles in a day, don't you think? Yeah, and I mean, we were able to let it sit and go do other stuff too, so it wasn't like we were just sitting here waiting. The nice thing is that when you make a mistake like what we did, um, we were able to pull the wick out and re-melt the wax and start all over, and that's what I'm going to do with that candle that we messed up. So all you really lose is you know two or three inches of wick depending on the size of your candle um, if you you know if you mess one up like that so you really don't lose a whole lot mm -mm. but it's a fun little hobby to get into um, I appreciate y'all watching this video I hope it I don't know if it helped anybody because <laughs> we're not very proficient at it it helped us it helped us <laughs> it helped us <laughs> we learned better how to do it. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed watching. Uh, hit that like button before you get out of here. I'd really appreciate that. And I will see you all next time. <laughs> Are you getting hold of that? Uh, I didn't hold our candle up.